Back home, Labor Chief Lim Sui Se says the next three years is an important transition time for companies as they embark on the painful process of restructuring. He warns Singapore will lose its competitiveness with higher unemployment and wage stagnation if companies move too slowly. The message from the Labour chief was clear. Companies need to keep pace with changes or risk being eliminated. And it's a fine balance that needs to be struck. If this uh, transition we progress too slowly, uh, we could actually end up uh, losing our competitiveness. Uh, in fact, uh, not only the economic growth will slow down, uh, job growth will slow down as well. So therefore, if we get it wrong, uh, we could end up with uh, higher unemployment. We could end up with a uh, wage stagnation. If we try to move too fast, uh, faster than what the uh, economy, the businesses on the whole can cope with, uh, we're going to see many businesses closing down, relocating. He said how successful Singapore is in managing this transition will depend on several factors. Whether the country can sustain full employment, if wages go up and the income gap narrowed, and if the Singaporean core is strengthened in every sector of the economy. Addressing concerns over the sustainability of the wage credit scheme, Mr Lim stressed that any pay increase needs to be supported by productivity gain. Under the scheme, the government will fund 40% of the pay increase given to Singaporean employees, up to a cap of $4,000 a month. But the subsidy is good for only three years. Really, it's not about oh, whether uh, uh, after three years, whether the wage uh, uh, credit scheme will, be, will, be, will continue. Uh, I think the right question that the businesses will ask now really is that now, how can they make best use of the wage credit scheme over the next three years right, to upgrade operation, to upgrade productivity, uh, to upgrade the wages of the workers, and do so in such a way that beyond this uh, wage credit, it will, be, it will still be sustainable. Mr Lim added it's also important to pay attention to less attractive jobs that Singaporeans shun. And not just through raising wages, but also job redesign.